Bam! This request comes from Abel Mishma and he wants to know how to turn multiple times. I'm guessing he's talking about how to do spins. So that's what we are going to talk about today. Welcome everybody and welcome to another dance tutorial. In this one we are going to talk about how to do multiple spins. Basically you are going to use them mainly in salsa because as a follower, as a lady, you will receive spins and as a guy it's awesome to know how to do them for example in that shine part of the song for those that don't know i am marius and i am here to help you become a better dancer so don't forget to subscribe if you like the materials on our channel share it and help us grow it spins they need a lot of work a lot of practice a lot of exercise focus and you need to have patience with yourself now, the main thing is this, I could make a material about one hour or two hours and talking about different aspects of the spins, but in this video I'm going to give you the main ideas and you gotta know this, in time, with a lot of practice, it will become easier. So, what you need to learn first is that you need to have balance, so, in order to have balance, raise on one leg and try to keep your balance on that leg try to do anything with your body and try to keep your balance of course do it on the other side usually one side is weaker than the other and with practice you will gain balance the second thing is you have to keep in mind that your body is going to wobble at first so you need to keep it straight on a line so bam here tense everything in your body your legs your hips, your abs, your chest, your back, your hands, your neck, and so on. Everything on one line. Point number three, hands. Basically, you are going to do some turns using them in different positions, but the main idea is you have to keep them in front of your body, tense them, they need to balance you, okay? Don't hold them too close, don't do this, because it will lead you backwards, and don't go with them forward, because they will pull you forward you need to have them here around your uh, solar plex okay tense them don't go in brute force just tense them and try to keep them over there in order to help you spin you should use them let's say like something that will propel you in your spins okay imagine that you're holding something heavy and you're pushing it and you're pulling it with your right side uh, with the side that you are turning towards, you are pulling, and with the other side you are pushing, but it's an equili equilibrium, it's a balance of forces that will help you keep your balance and direct that energy inwards, okay? Because we need all that energy to come inside us, on that line, to spin us. Point number four, your head. If you don't know how to do spotting, okay? Spotting is keeping your head focused on one point while your body spins i try to use my shoulders as points of references so for example left shoulder bam right shoulder and so on don't uh, don't do spotting with your eyes don't do don't do this just do this with your head and remember this the head leaves last and it arrives first so the head is the last one to leave and it's the first one to arrive. The fifth point is starting position. Stay on your leg, okay? Don't have any weight on the other, uh, on the other leg. And from here you bend your knees a little bit and you go up while you try to turn. Remember, this one pulls, this one pushes. Your other leg goes instantly towards your main leg, bam, and you tense up, you don't do this, you just tense up forward and imagine that everything in your body tells you to create one line. If you would have enough power, if you would be Hulk, you could squish yourself into one perfect line, okay? So, ha, everything goes here. Then, keep in mind the hands, the body, your neck, and your uh, spotting, and of course you need to practice a lot but 
remember from this position, at first try to do one, okay? So, one. After you try, after you practice, if you can make one spin, perfect it, do it every time, okay? Just have like a nine out of 10 tries to be able to do one spin correctly, and then try to do two spins. So, one, two, and then go from that further, okay? Try to do three and so on. Usually one uh, of your side will be weaker. For example, my left is a little bit weaker. Even if I am able to do them, I have practiced many more times on my right side. So try to keep a balance. Of course, as an info for you, uh, try to keep in mind this. Turns are when you pivot, when you use your legs. For example, left turn in salsa, normal turn in bachata using your legs. Spins are, let's say, when you go on uh, one leg, you go like this, for example, uh, and just pirouettes are those in uh, ballet, okay? So, or here, or here, those very awesome looking pirouettes, okay? That's why they are called pirouettes, because they are in ballet, and you don't find them in salsa. In salsa, for example, we have spins, you can bend, a little bit if you're tall you can do them here down you can go up however you want just you need to practice a lot and exercise so i hope these tips will help you i will make a material because there's a lot of details to talk about and exercises and techniques but it will be a separate material because it will be about an hour or more uh, so until then, practice a lot, you will get dizzy, it doesn't matter, you will fall, it doesn't matter, just don't give up, try to do like 10 or 20, okay, simple spins from one side to the other, practice, then go on doubles and so on, perseverance is the key, so practice, focus, okay, try to understand what your body is telling you, what it's saying, and make clear moves, so don't go until next time, don't forget to practice. Bam!